Today I want to talk about uh, squats a little bit more. So I want to talk about um, you know how to properly do a, a good body weight squat. And what you're going to do um, is you're going to get into your stance and you're going to have your feet about hip width apart. Now there is this there are these schools of thought that say like you must have your your feet pointed forward. Um, you know, absolutely forward, no deviation. You can't have them point out at all. Um, I'm not one of those people. I think that, you know, if you, if it is more comfortable for you, some people can get a little bit more depth if they have their toes out a little bit. I prefer to have my toes out a little bit. Um, I don't like to have them like super straight. Um, so the, it's really, you know, what you're, in, in my opinion, it's really what you're comfortable with. And as long as your feet are in the same position, like they're both in the same position, like you don't have one forward and one out to the side, as long as they're both, you know, same angle, uh, I don't have a problem with people wanting to have their toes pointing out a little bit. It doesn't bother me at all. Um, so you're gonna have your feet a slightly wider than hip width. Um, if you want your toes pointed out slightly, um, go ahead and do that. And the biggest thing at this point when you start the motion is to remember to start it with your hips. Some people, you know, I have had clients that go to start it with their knees and you, there's this misconception that your knees can't go over your toes. They absolutely can go over your toes if you have the um, mobility if you if you have um, the if you're stable enough to do that your 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 knees can absolutely go over your toes but what you don't want to do is start the motion with your knees going forward you want to start the motion with your hips going back and down a little bit so you want to start the motion here as opposed to here because um, this is going to be really tough on the knees so, um, so then as you're going down, you want to remember to keep your back nice and straight. The upper back isn't as um, important to keep straight. I mean, it's good to keep it straight. What's, what you're really you know, concerned about is the lumbar spine. But I find that when my shoulder blades are down and back, kind of, you know, tucked, uh, I find that also helps me to keep my lumbar back straight as well. So keeping the whole back straight, starting with the hips, you're going to go down as far as you can go without letting your, your hips, or without letting that lower back round at all. Um, so as you can see, I get to about there, and that's as far as I can go down. Because um, what happens if you go down any further and, you're, and, and your, your pelvis starts to rotate, that's when you get quote unquote butt wink, um, when you can see like the insides of your butt cheeks when you're doing it forward. Like um, if you're looking straight at a person doing a squat, and you see their, their butt cheeks because they're from the front because their they're pelvis rounded a bit. Um, that's called butt wink and that can cause some um, stress in the lower back. So it's a good idea to keep from, um, to keep from having that happen. And, and the biggest thing is to not go down so low. So just don't go down that low and work on your mobility and being able to go down lower without having that happen as opposed to just forcing it, having a butt wink, um, and putting that stress on the lower back. Uh, the other thing to remember is to try to stay as upright as possible. I know I, depending on, you know, if I lean forward a little bit more, I can get a little bit lower, um, but staying as upright posture as possible um, <clears throat> is also, Ideal. Now you're going to lean forward a little bit, just keeping your balance. Um, and when you're 
there's also, also this idea of keeping your weight in your heels when you're squatting, but really you want, you know, all thinking of your foot as either a rectangle or a triangle with, you know, the ball, the ball of your foot where your pinky toe meets your foot and the heel um, all having the same pressure on the floor, not being towards the back or towards the front, but keeping the same pressure throughout the foot. Um, and then when you're coming back up, as you're coming back up, think about pushing into the floor to come back up and that'll help and, and don't actually push your knees out, but think about having pressure um, Think about like you're pushing against a band or something. Just have that thought in your mind to kind of try to um, engage the, you know, the, the, the purpose of the squat, depending on how you load it, is mostly to engage. It's a really good glute exercise if you can um, engage the glutes throughout. So, <clears throat> You're down in the hole, you're pushing back up, and as you come up, completely extend the hips, really squeeze the glutes at the top, and then relax and go back down. Um, because a lot of people, what ends up happening is they'll come up and they'll get to about here, and they don't fully engage the glutes. They kind of keep their uh, hip flexors kind of, they keep their hip flexors engaged as opposed to Get it, keep it getting their glutes engaged, which is the main one of the main purposes of the squat. So you don't want to you don't want to keep that anterior tilt in the pelvis through you know at the top. You want to fully fully flex or fully um, extend the hips at the top, and that's something that I all, almost always have to remind clients to. Okay, when you come up and fully extend, <laughs> they they very they actually very rarely fully extend. We're so used to having that anterior pelvic tilt and the the you know having our hip flexors sort of always engaged or always flexed as opposed to extended. So anyway, those are the that, that's the basic um, basic instructions for a squat. Um, and when I teach it to people, I usually have them do one and then correct it as opposed to giving them all of these instructions to begin with. Um, because sometimes they'll squat perfectly fine and I don't really have to give them a whole bunch of instructions and other times they're like maybe one or two little tweaks and it's a lot less for them to think about rather than, um, rather than telling them all this stuff to begin with, they're gonna be overthinking it. So I just, I'll have them do one or two and then say, okay, Let's do this a little bit differently. Let's change this. And then, you know, they, they'll do it um, much better after that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button, share it, subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow with another video. Bye.